Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to week three of Fedor's Four. I uh, have a couple different things, some special situation this week. So we'll get into, first thing we'll do is a Virginia Tech set that I really like. Uh, and then we'll get into some baseline out of bounds, sideline out of bounds, and even a set verse zone. So let's get started here with Virginia Tech. This is another pistol action, kind of similar to what I showed you, um, I believe two weeks ago that Indiana ran, but something that I really, really like the movement that we get here. So our point guard has the ball. Again, anytime we're talking this pistol action, our two is going to work his way here to get open. It's a quick pass, okay, and then a quick follow right behind. Quick follow right behind. Now we get our handoff here. As that happens, our five man is coming over. Again, now our one has the ball. He's going to take a couple dribbles baseline. If he can make that play, then great. Because what we have on the backside here is a flare for our three, going to the corner. So now we're over here, and our one has the ball. Okay, again, he's looking to attack baseline if he can. We're looking to catch our three on the flare on the backside, or our two is running off a of flare from our five, and now what we have is our five man stepping right up into a ball screen. So we get our ball screen, our one coming off, three's in the corner, okay, two is still working his way to the other side of the floor, and what we have is our four who just set the flare is lifting to the top of the key. So what happens here is there's a lot of stuff going on, it's really difficult to help on this ball screen because you're worried about the backside and the action we have going on between the flares. So we'll, we'll take a look here on tape. You'll see Virginia Tech does a great job, good pace, and they're able to hit the uh, roll guy for a dunk very easy. Let's take a look on film. Just a moment ago, Jeff had a chance to talk to Buzz Williams. Buzz told me that the problem is Virginia Tech's penetrating too deep against the pack line defense in Nebraska. So he said even... Okay, next up we have a very simple uh, zone play here from that I stole from the UConn men's team. Uh, they came up with a big win versus Syracuse the other night. A little bit ugly, but they were able to grind it out. Uh, this is something that's extremely simple, okay, but it's a way to manipulate um, your, your numbers versus zone. Okay, so what we're going to look at is a simple ball screen here. The way, you know, anytime you're versus zone, you got to get some movement. So initially, before you run any kind of action like this, we're going to want to go ahead and pass the ball a couple times, have your players exchange spots, and really, you know, get the zone moving. But once we do that, okay, what we're going to have is our point guard here, our playmaker with the ball, our four or five, doesn't matter, whoever's kind of at your high post here is going to go ahead and step, a, step up and set a ball screen, okay? Now what happens here is we got to make some decisions on the backside. So as he's coming off, okay, our five man's going to go ahead and duck in here to occupy space, okay? Then our two is on the wing. You see X4 is going to be out somewhere around there ready for this play. They're going to send three all the way through to the corner. So now what we have is you have your three in the corner, our two here, our one, okay? Our four is going to be somewhere around here, and our five is ducking in. So now you got your X5, you got X, I believe this was four before, X2 has now picked up the ball, X1 is sinking into the high post, and X3 is out here. So what we have is we have numbers on our back side, and now we have to make choices. Okay, you'll see on the film. UConn's able to swing the ball one time, this guy stays in the corner, gets all the way to the rim. Another time he's sagging off, they don't even bring him through that time, okay, but they know that that's what they do, so he's sagging off, waiting for the guy in the corner, easy three. Another time, we get quick middle penetration, and we swing back this way. So what it does is it creates numbers, it puts pressure on the defense, okay, and it gives you open opportunities. Let's take a look on film, uh, and you can see the three different ways UConn scores. They're just throwing the ball out around the perimeter, kind of windshield wipers back and forth. Doesn't put a lot of pressure on the defense. This does. Purvis, yes, right through for two. Be one of those players that uh, that is just going to get better and better. He is, he is so much better than he's played thus far. Purvis with a three. Sizzling in the second half for the Huskies. Well, you don't want to don't wanna take too much time. You still have to be aggressive. Adams, great look at a three-pointer. Okay, next up, uh, we have a special situation play. Sideline out of bounds here. Something I saw Xavier run uh, in their game down in Florida. Now, it's a great action if you need a three, uh, end of the game, or if you just want to go ahead and get the ball in it and play. But uh, I really like this. So what we have here is our one taking the ball out, our three's positioned down on the block, and we have a line of two, four, and five. Okay, uh, Two is going to be your shooter, the guy that you want to get the shot. Now what we have is this guy's going to go ahead and work to get open, so he'll walk his man in, pop out, 
try to receive the ball somewhere just off the block. Soon as that happens, okay, uh, initially the, our two man is going to go ahead and curl off the back here, and then we're going to inbound the ball to our three. As soon as the one inbounds the ball to the three, he's sprinting through the middle of the floor to get out to the opposite corner. Okay, and now what we have again is our four and five are going to turn right back around and set a double screen here for your two, who's walking down and coming off. We should be able to get a kickback three to our two. So we have a couple different options off this play. Now once we get into this, okay, we can have our two man with the ball here. Our four and five just screened. We can come back around and set another two ball screens, okay? Or what we can do is have this two man reject it, maybe get a back door cut. And also on film, you'll see it's an isolation play for the three. Again, a lot of action up here that the defense is worried about. Okay, our one is running all the way through. A lot of times you'll see defenders chase them, and it's a good opportunity to ISO your three on the block. Let's take a look and see how they did it on film. They're going to have to gather themselves and figure out, okay, we got to find a way not only to get stops, but put points on the board. Bernard, all the way to the hoop. Man, he's good. All right, so for our last one, we have a Texas baseline out of bounds here. Again, another special, special situation. I think a great opportunity to get a score here on a baseline out of bounds. What we have is our three taking the ball out. We're in a box set, okay? As soon as he says break, or as soon as the referee hands him the ball, our one's going to go ahead and sprint through to the corner here. Our two dives to the rim. We might get a shot there if we catch the defense sleeping. Okay, if not, we're going to go ahead and enter it to the corner. Five man's going to kind of post up, pop out to the wing here so that we can get a, a quick reversal. So the ball's going from one to five. Five now has it. Okay, four is working his way up the lane and out so that we can get a catch somewhere around the top of the key. We get another ball reversal here. Two is now working his way up and out to the wing. Another quick ball reversal. As soon as the five swings to the four, we're going to have our three here, who's stepping inbounds now, come up and set a kind of like a cross screen, uh, all the, a slice screen, all the way to the block here for the five. So that's our first look. We're looking for this post up to get the ball down, down in the floor, get a paint touch, and hopefully an easy basket. Once we get through this, though, we have a screen screener action. So as soon as the four swings his pass, He's going directly down, and we're setting a quick little screen here for our three coming to the top, looking for a shot. Again, we might have a slip opportunity. We might have a skip opportunity. you got to read the defense. But now as we swing the, swing the ball back up to the top, we have our five still in the post. Our three has the ball. Our one is now going to work his way down to the corner to give space, and our four steps right back up into a ball screen here. Come on off, and now we can play. So now he's either going to roll, okay, and we'll probably roll underneath the rim, lift up here, a lot of different actions. Also, you can switch your four and your five depending on who you want to get a post up for and who you want in that ball screen action. But let's go ahead and take a look on film. You'll see Texas score it in a couple different ways um, and what I think is a great baseline out of bounds. Good today, whether it's been a Buffalo's player or a Longhorn's player. You've got to be a very aware media member. Stop tweeting so much if you're sitting over there. Look up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go from the outside in. Shot clock is at six. Three pointer in the line and make critical plays around the basket. And I mean, we, we, you can look right here. Texas has already got a different lineup on the floor here early in the game. Snoop. Three freshmen on the court. Jacob Young, one of them. And he's left hand. All right, guys, so that does it for this week's edition of Fedor's Four. Uh, don't forget, this weekend, New Jersey tip-off. Some of the best teams in New Jersey coming out to compete at Caldwell University. Uh, games are both Saturday and Sunday. We'd love to see you out there. Um, as always, any kind of questions, comments, concerns, uh, love to hear your feedback. Email me at dave at hoopgroup.com. We'll see you next week.